everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a workwear styling video. So I haven't done one of these videos for quite a long time now and I thought it would be a good idea to give you guys some workwear inspiration. I've got a real mixture of more smart casual, a little bit more on the casual side and more corporate outfits. So hopefully there is something for everyone in here. I know most offices now kind of have a more smart casual vibe or if you do have a slightly smarter office you may only have to go in like once or twice a week. So hopefully these are some good outfits that will get you inspired for dressing to go to the office. Now obviously I don't work in an office. I have never really worked in an office apart from when I did internships in fashion and they were all very very casual so I have tried my best to put together outfits that I think you guys will like and that are appropriate so I'm gonna get straight into this video now this was meant to be a spring workwear outfit styling video but as the weather is getting a little bit warmer and we're heading kind of into summery months I thought I'd make this kind of like a spring slash summer these outfits will be absolutely appropriate for now. You can add layers to them and you can remove layers to them for the slightly warm weather as well. So let's start with look number one. I absolutely adore this colour palette. So I have a new waistcoat here. This is from Forth and Reckless. It's a beautiful long line waistcoat. I'm obsessed with long line waistcoats at the moment. I have another one in this video as well. They are such a fantastic piece for spring summer. They go with so many things. I wore this recently on a trip to Italy with a nice long white maxi skirt and it just looked gorgeous. But also you can style them up with tailored trousers for the office as well. So like I said, this is from Forth and Reckless. I got it in a size eight fits beautifully just such a staple piece in my spring summer wardrobe now i know that some of you may not be allowed no sleeves in the office if you work in a very corporate place but you could just simply put like a cream blazer over the top of this but for those of you that are kind of in a little bit more of a relaxed environment i love a sleeveless waistcoat very smart piece for the office a little bit different than a real kind of like plain basic just something a bit jazzier something a bit more interesting and instead of pairing this with just plain black trousers i thought i'd go for a full neutral outfit and go with these gorgeous camel wide leg trousers these are super old from zara i must have got them probably about five or six years ago now they're just an absolute classic i love how oversized and actually wide they are a lot of trousers sometimes say they're wide leg and then you get them and they're just kind of wide at the bottom and not the whole way down these are super oversized really really chic they've got pockets they've got belt loops they've got a nice fastening so they're super smart and i just love the way these two look together i would actually wear this out to like an evening kind of dinner as well or, or a brunch or a girls lunch or something not just in the office so it's two super versatile pieces here and then to pair with i have a new pair of heels i got these recently from zara and they're a really nice like cream and patent kitten heel sling back with a little bow on the front here i just think these are gorgeous i felt like my shoe wardrobe was really missing a pair of lighter colored heels i don't know what i would have paired with this outfit if i didn't have these because i didn't want to bring down the tones i probably would have gone black ballet flats and black accessories which would have really darkened the outfit so i'm so glad that i picked up these recently such a good shoe for spring summer really nice and comfortable as well because of the small heel height and the perfect shoe for the office i'm going to be styling these a couple of ways in this video so pleased with these i just got my normal size and not the most comfortable thing in the world because this part is quite stiff but i think the more i wear them and break them in i think they should be okay and then finally in terms of bags for this outfit i have paired my polen sima bag i absolutely love this it's a beautiful shape and such a good size for the office as well it fits my laptop fits so many things in if I'm going to London for the day and I need to carry like my camera, maybe a spare pair of shoes, chargers, headphones, makeup bag, all that kind of stuff. I will definitely take this because it fits so much in and it's such a chic looking bag as well. Also comes in a few other colours. I think you can get it black and camel as well, but I just love the top. It goes with so many things and I also use it as hand luggage as well when I travel. Look number two is a look that I've actually worn recently out and about here in London. First up we have my favourite white smart pleated wide leg trousers. These are definitely not as wide as the camel ones from Zara. They're a bit more of like a straight slash wide leg trouser. These are from Lily Silk so you may remember them from a recent haul. I featured them lots on my channel recently because they are my new favourite item for spring. They just 
go with everything. I love using these trousers as a starting point for my outfits and of course because they are tailored and they are smart they are great for the office and going for a white trouser instead of a black or a darker coloured trouser is always a great idea in spring summer. These are also super comfortable as well. Obviously they have a nice fastening and belt loops but they also have an elasticated waist at the back as well so really really comfortable for you to be wearing kind of all day when you're sat down. And then on the top half of the body I thought I'd go nice and simple and pop one of my COS t-shirts on instead of going for the plain white one I thought let's mix it up and do stripes instead. I love these t-shirts, fab fab basics. If you're not allowed to wear t-shirts or you think that's probably a bit too casual for your office then a plain white blouse would do the same job. I just love the way the t-shirt looks. I thought it'd make the outfit a bit more interesting if I added some stripes and then I have this beautiful grey jacket from Zara. This is quite old. I got it probably about 18 months ago so it's no longer available but they're will be a similar one linked down below. I just love a kind of short cropped wool jacket. This one's really thin because it's not lined so it is good for the warmer weather and sometimes this time of year if you're travelling into London or you're travelling into work in the morning it may get hotter as the day goes on but sometimes when you get there first thing in the morning you do need that extra layer and this kind of jacket is perfect for that. It's a bit different from a blazer as well but it's still really really smart so it's a great option to have in your workwear wardrobe. So in terms of accessories for this outfit I have gone for black ballet flats and a black YSL bag, nice and simple. These ballet flats are mesh ones that I got recently from ASOS which I love. They are a trend piece and I didn't spend much money on them because I'm not sure how much I will be wearing them but I think they're really cute for now so I thought they would look lovely with this outfit and the black bag matches perfectly. Obviously not appropriate if you do need to carry a laptop or lots of things with you so you may have to carry a tote bag as well but I just love this bag. I think it's so smart because it's square and structured and yeah it's just a lovely smart handbag to have for days at the office. Also those mesh ballet flats are so comfortable. I wore them for the first time walking all day around London and my feet didn't hurt one bit. So next up I've gone for a slightly different tone. We are styling brown for this outfit which is my favourite colour. It's my favourite colour throughout autumn winter and I'm trying to transition it into spring summer as well because I have lots of gorgeous chocolate brown pieces that I want to continue wearing so I'm trying to figure out a way to do that and I think this look is perfect. This is a more casual look and is really really good for when the weather is slightly warmer. So I have my favourite chocolate brown wide leg trousers. These are from Abercrombie, really really good fit. I ordered a pair before I bought these from and other stories thinking oh, I'll just splurge on them and a really good kind of quality piece to keep in my wardrobe. The fit was not good at all so I spent half the price on a beautiful pair from Abercrombie. Fit is perfect. Love these, they do them in lots of different colours as well so if you're after just a black pair, beige pair, a white pair then these are the perfect style. I got them in a waist 27 so they're a little bit big uh, but I quite like my trousers like that and I do think that is quite practical because if you're going to be sitting down in them you want them to be comfy, you don't want them to be tight there's nothing worse than having that stomach ache from wearing trousers that are too tight. So I then thought in terms of what to wear on top I'll go for a black vest. Again if you think shoulders out may be a bit too casual for your work environment then you could just do a black basic t-shirt or any kind of black basic short sleeved and then over the shoulders I have popped my chocolate brown cardigan from Pretty Lavish. I love the way that this kind of finishes off the look. I really enjoy pairing blacks and browns together and I think this was so fun to try and create something more spring summer appropriate. The cardigan looks super chic over your shoulders but of course you've got that extra layer there if you do need it as well. And then continuing with the black and brown accessories I've gone for my black ballet flats. These ones are from Prada that I got from Vista Village. They are a beautiful ballet flat. So gorgeous. I wear them all the time and they are a perfect shoe for your workwear wardrobe but ballet flat is so chic so sophisticated also really comfortable and you can basically pair them with anything and then to continue the brown theme i've got my demelia new york midi bag i adore this it is such a good size again for just chucking everything in you could put your lunchbox in here but i don't think it would fit a laptop it would be sticking out the top if you put your laptop in here but an ipad phones chargers all that kind of stuff does fit in here beautifully and it's just such a gorgeous shaped bag they do come in slightly bigger sizes as well so if you do love the style of this bag but you want it to be practical for work then they do have a bigger one as well which i would imagine to fit laptop so next up we have a nice monochrome look featuring some absolute wardrobe basics that i love to wear first up is this beautiful cream maxi slip skirt this is from pretty lavish 
I've got this in at two different lengths, but this is the longer one, which I slightly prefer. I just think it's more flattering on me. But if you think a shorter one would be more practical for work, then they do it in a shorter length as well. Um, I got this in a size eight. It's just, like I said, an absolute basic for me in my wardrobe. I always reach for something like this in the spring, summer. Amazing for holidays, for day-to-day -day wear, but also, of course, perfect for the office, which is what we're talking about today. This is a beautiful kind of creamy champagne color, which I think is lovely to brighten up an outfit, but a black one would work just the same. I think they also do it in gray on Pretty Lavish or a chocolate brown would be beautiful as well. But for the purpose of this outfit, I've gone for monochrome. So I thought the cream would work quite nicely. And then of course, two favorites that you probably all already have in your wardrobe, a white t-shirt and a black blazer. This white t-shirt is the same as the striped one from Cos. Beautiful t-shirts, the best on the high street. I absolutely adore them. And then my trusty black blazer from Zara, which is very, very old. I love all of these items together. I feel like the skirt and the blazer are nice and smart, but sandwiched in between something as casual and as simple as a white t-shirt brings the look down slightly. Again, you could swap out the t-shirt for a slightly smarter top if you felt the need to, maybe a waistcoat, something like that. But I think the contrast is quite nice. And then to keep the look looking smart, I have gone for the lovely cream Zara slingback again but you could definitely wear ballet flats or something a little bit more casual you could even go with trainers if you feel like that is more your office vibe so many different variations of these outfits but I just love those sling backs so much I wanted to style them again and here is the fifth and final look so on the bottom half another pair of wide leg trousers these are my trusty black pair from Zara absolutely love them perfect fit perfect shape and a wardrobe classic for all year round. I wear these in the summer, obviously in the winter. I wear them casually with trainers, dressed up with heels for an evening. Just a real staple and I adore them. So I've chosen to pair them today with something a little bit different. We've got another long line waistcoat. This one is from H&M. You will have probably seen it on my channel already because I have styled it a few different ways and featured it in a haul. But it's a gorgeous like olive kind of colour really beautiful buttons all the way down. It's just such a nice different kind of top. Like I said, I'm obsessed with long line waistcoats at the moment. I do have the matching skirt to this one as well, which you could probably get away with for work, but for me, I feel like that's more of a holiday outfit. So I've paired it with the super smart black wide leg trousers. And then over the top, I have gone for my favorite Massimo Duty trench coat. I just thought for those slightly colder days, you might want a bit of a warmer option, something a bit more practical. You could even throw a jumper over your the shoulders of this look as well or remove the trench coat completely if it is a much warmer day and then to finish off the look I've just gone for my Prada ballet flats as always because I just think they work so nicely with wide leg trousers and a trench coat heels would obviously do the same job if that's what you prefer and a very classic black handbag so there we have it five spring summer workwear looks to hopefully give you guys a little bit of inspiration if you do want to see more workwear outfits from me then let me know because that's something I can always do I love putting these together it's super fun for me because I never get to go into an office so it's really nice to pretend and think about what I would wear if I did go to an office don't forget to let me know what your favourite look was in the comments. And as always, if you have any other video requests for certain occasions or certain locations, then do let me know because that is something I can definitely look into filming for you. If you did enjoy this video, it would be amazing if you could give it a like. And if you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you could hit the subscribe button. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.